Imagine creating your very own 3D animated story with smooth camera moves, consistent characters, and Pixar-style visuals, all without needing any animation skills. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it using one of the most powerful AI video tools available right now. You're going to learn step-by-step -step how to write the perfect story script, create character images that stay consistent, build stunning Pixar-style scenes, and turn them into smooth animations. I'm also giving away all the prompts I use completely for free, so you can find follow along and create your own animated story from scratch. So let's get started. All right, so if you want to create a 3D animated story with characters that look the same in every scene and then turn those images into smooth animations, we're going to use a tool called David AI. David AI is a really powerful tool that turns simple text prompts into high quality images and videos. It's definitely one of the best options for creating cinematic animations for your stories. First, head over to the website, click on Start for Free, and log in using your Google account. Once you've logged in, you'll get some free credits to help you get started, which is super useful when you're just beginning. Now, you'll notice a menu on the left side of the screen. This menu has different features that will help us later on to create our story. All right, first, we need to come up with some story ideas. For that, we're going to use ChatGPT. Writing everything manually takes a lot of time, so I've already made some ready-to-use prompts to help with everything. Getting story ideas, writing a full detailed script scene by scene, listing all characters with their appearances, creating image prompts, and even writing animation descriptions. I'll be sharing all of these helpful prompts for free in my Discord server and Telegram channel so you can easily find and use them whenever you want. Okay, let's start by getting some story ideas. First, copy the Get Story Ideas prompt. Then, open Chat GPT and paste the prompt into the chat. Now, here, you'll need to type in what kind of story you want. It could be a scary story, a kid's adventure, a realistic film, or anything else you have in mind. This prompt works for all types. After you click Generate, ChatGPT will give you 10 different story ideas. Each idea will include a title, a one-sentence summary of the story, and the overall tone or mood of the story. Pick whichever story you like best. Next, go back to the prompt list again and copy the full script prompt. Paste that into ChatGPT2. Now, take the story idea you picked earlier and paste it into the prompt. If you want, you can also search for a popular movie on Google and copy the summary. For example, I searched for Moana's movie story summary and pasted that here instead. After that, type in your target duration and word count for the story. For example, I'll set mine to 3 minutes. Once you're ready, click Generate. Now, ChatGPT will write a full story for you, scene by scene. Each scene includes one sentence describing what happens and another sentence for the voiceover narration. This format makes it super easy to turn the story into visuals later, especially when creating image prompts. Now, go back to the list of prompts and copy the third one. Paste it into ChatGPT. This prompt tells ChatGPT to look at your story and identify all the characters that appear in it. It will give you the names of the characters and also write detailed descriptions for each one. These descriptions include things like age, clothing style, colors, hairstyle, facial features, and other helpful details. These character descriptions are really useful because they help you keep each character consistent throughout your entire video, so they don't randomly look different in every scene. Once your full script and character descriptions are ready, it's time to move on to creating image prompts for your story. To do that, copy the fourth prompt and paste it into ChatGPT. Here's something important. When using this prompt, make sure to mention the image style you want for your story. For example, I like to type 3D Pixar animation style. ChatGPT will then include that style at the end of every image prompt, which helps keep all your images in the same visual style. This prompt will help ChatGPT generate detailed image prompts for every scene in your story. What's great is that it will also include the same character descriptions you got earlier. This ensures that your characters look the same from scene to scene, which is really important for keeping everything consistent. One thing to keep in mind, if your story has a lot of scenes, ChatGPT might not be able to send all the image prompts in one message. So, after it gives you the first set of image prompts, ChatGPT will ask you to type next to continue. All you have to do is type next in the chat and it will keep going. Just repeat that until you've received image prompts for every scene in your story. Once it's done, you'll notice that every prompt includes the character descriptions and your chosen image style, keeping everything nice and consistent. All right, now that all your image prompts are ready, it's time to create the actual images. So, click on AI image inside David. Once you're there, you'll see a simple and easy-to-use interface. 
just like this. Now go back to ChatGPT and copy the image prompt for the first scene. Paste that into the prompt box in David AI. Next, you'll see an option called Reference Image. Here, you can upload any image you like to guide the style. David will then use that image as a reference to match the look and feel. So, in my case, I uploaded this image right here as a reference. If you want, you can adjust the image fidelity using this slider. It lets you choose how closely the final image should match the reference style. Then, choose your aspect ratio from this menu based on your video format. Also, if there's anything you don't want to appear in your image, you can type that in the negative prompt box. Once you're all set, go ahead and click Create. Now, let's move on to the next one. Copy the second image prompt, paste it into the prompt box, select your settings just like before, and click Create again. And here's the result I got after uploading a reference image. As you can see, the final image looks very similar to the reference style we uploaded, which is great for keeping things consistent. Now let's try something a little different. I'm going to create a few images without using a reference image just to see how they turn out. So first, I remove the reference image and click Create again using the same prompt. I repeat this process for the other scenes too. No reference image this time, just relying on the prompt and the style we mentioned. And here are the results I got from that. As you can see, the style looks a bit different compared to when we use the reference image, but it still follows the 3D Pixar style we described in the prompt, which is exactly what we wanted. So now, I've decided to create all my images without using a reference image, and I'll just follow this same process for all the remaining scene prompts. Just a quick tip while you're doing this. Keep checking the character descriptions again and again. Make sure each character looks the same in every image. This really helps you keep everything consistent from scene to scene. For now, I'm creating all my images without changing anything in the prompts. And here are the final results for all the images I created. As you can see, the characters look almost the same in every image, which means the style and appearance stay consistent. If you notice that any image looks off or a character doesn't match the others, you can always go back, double check the prompt and regenerate the image until it looks right. All right, now that all our images are ready, it's finally time to turn them into animations using the David AI video generator. But before we start creating the animations, we first need to write animation descriptions for each scene. These descriptions will help David understand how to animate the images, like what the camera should do, how the character should move, and how they should interact with the environment. To make that easier, I've created a special prompt just for writing animation descriptions. So, go ahead and copy that prompt and paste it into ChatGPT, then click Generate. ChatGPT will now write a perfect animation description for each of your image prompts. It includes details like camera angles, character actions, background movement, and more. Everything you need to bring your story to life. Just like before, ChatGPT might not be able to send all the descriptions in one message. So when it finishes the first part, it will ask you to type next to continue. Just reply with next to keep getting the remaining prompts. Now, if you want even better and more accurate results, here's a helpful trick. Copy the first 10 image prompts you got earlier and paste them right under the animation prompt when you send it to ChatGPT. This helps ChatGPT understand what's happening in each scene so it can give you better animation instructions. You can do this in batches, repeat the same steps for the next 10 prompts and so on. Once you have your animation descriptions ready, it's time to bring them into David and start animating. So first, copy the animation description for scene 1. Then, go back to David and find the scene 1 image. Click on the image and then click the Generate Video button. You'll now be taken to the Image to Video section in David. There is also an option to animate using a reference video. But since we already created our own images, we'll stick with the image to video feature. Now, paste the animation description you copied from ChatGPT into the prompt box here. After that, choose your resolution, like 1080p, and set the duration for your animation, maybe 5 to 10 seconds per scene, depending on your story. Once you're ready, click Create. David will start generating the animation based on your image and description. Next, repeat the same process for scene 2. Copy the animation description for scene 2. Go to the My Creation section, find your second image, select it, and click Generate Video. Then paste your description, set the settings, and click Create. You can follow these steps for all your scenes one by one. Or if you prefer, you can even download the images you made earlier and upload them directly into the Image to Video section of David instead. It works both ways. In just a few minutes, all your animations will be ready. And here are all the results I got. Each scene now fully animated and styled just the way we wanted. As you can see, every scene has smooth and cinematic camera movements, natural character actions that match the scene, and even background interactions, exactly how we described them in our prompts. It all came together really well. David AI is honestly one of the best AI tools out there for creating cinematic animations for your stories. 
It really helps bring your ideas to life with professional-looking results. All right, once all your animations are finished, don't forget to download them to your device. Now for the final step, we're going to bring everything together to make the full video using CapCut. I've already explained this part in detail in some of my other tutorials, where I show how to edit videos in CapCut, how to add voice narration using Eleven Labs, and how to include sound effects and background music using CapCut's built-in features. So I won't go over all of that again in this video. But if you need help, you can check out those other tutorials for a full guide. All right, that's it. You've just learned how to create a full 3D animation video with consistent characters from start to finish. Besides animation, David AI also offers lots of other cool features, like text to video, video to video, lip sync AI, and the AI director. It even has fun viral templates like the Ghibli style image generator, AI kissing, AI hugging, and much more. For example, with the Ghibli AI generator, all you have to do is upload any image you like, and within seconds, the AI will turn it into a beautiful Ghibli-style artwork. Super easy and fun. If you're interested in using David AI more, you can get started with one of their paid plans, which begin at just $14 per month. I've added all the links in the description below, so feel free to check them out or try it for free. If you need any help, feel free to join our Discord or Telegram group. It's the perfect place to ask questions, share your creations, and connect with other creators who can help you make even better videos. Plus, you'll find all the AI tools and the exact prompts we used in this tutorial, so you can try them out yourself. If this tutorial helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.